Welcome back, fellow terraformers. Today we're going to continue on with the tutorial playthrough of Planet Crafter. I believe as we left off uh, on the last session, we were getting ready to go out to an Iridium cave to a crash site and grab some free energy. So that's what we're going to do. I have water, I have food, not a lot of food, and I think we're going to grab one more piece of water and I'm going to go ahead and take that food that way we just take care of ourselves that's a long way over there not a bad idea to go ahead and take uh, a base to build on the way I'll have to pick up a few titanium as we run across I do not think we have any and we got one so let's go ahead and take that one and we'll grab one as we go so let's head out now this is the starting area right here and that's the first ship we went to and cleaned it out and we got a little base up there we're gonna run right back here along the edge and we're gonna run through that opening we see right up ahead of us now the opening leads to a whole other valley and in it there uh, you get access to the iridium cave or one of them there's more than one uh, and there's couple of, uh, I guess I've broken up pieces of the ship they have resources in them uh, as well as some free power that's kind of a glitchy thing there I was trying to run forward and I got stuck before I even got to the cliff it is still early access so they are making improvements in fact I think they're pushing out a small improvement right now a little development update for technical issues and things. Hopefully it doesn't uh, make too big of changes so that this game continues to play through as it is. It feels kind of slow to walk across the, the world like this. I don't think I have anything. I do have the tier 1 boots. I didn't have the resources to make the tier 2 yet. I need two super alloy and two cloth. I think I have the super alloy, but I only found one cloth so far. So hopefully when we get out here in these in these uh, wreck spots, we find another one. Go ahead and make my hab here so I can... Oop, I said I had to find one on the way and then I didn't do it. Oh well, we're going to have to drink that oxygen tube. Because I did not plan properly. Well, I guess I don't need this. Let's just keep running. So that's the spot we made it to without uh, running out of oxygen. So we're going to see if we can make it all the way to the cave. And that will let me know that I just need one oxygen to, to uh, make the run back to the main ship when we get done out here. There's the titanium. Yep, that's iron. Oh, well, I'll take it anyways. And it's not even in here. Wow. Let's go ahead and take it. And this right here will give us the two titanium second one. Alright, now we got what we need to make our little home. We're going to grab two of these as we're running. And that will let us make some more oxygen to carry back with us. Now it does not seem like we're going to make it on this oxygen either. Now only having the level 1 agility boots hurts. I'm going to drink water. We, uh, we're getting low there. Now this wall right here, this actually takes us all the way back to a cave. So I'm just going to keep following the wall. So if you're playing this wall, uh, doesn't change in the game. So you'll be able to do exactly what I'm doing. And since I am almost out of oxygen, I'm going to build real fast a little hab so we can get it in here. Get some oxygen back. Now, for anybody wondering, right back down there, if you keep running that direction, it goes back to the aluminum fields. So it's a circle all the way around back to our base. Now we just open up the uh, 
grass spreader. That uh, is a huge oxygen boost and it starts getting us some biomass. So I'll show that to you as soon as I get over here and create our little habitat. Now there's the cave. You can see the red right there. That's iridium laying on the ground. So I'm going to put our base right here. And the opening. I'm going to put the opening on the other side. Alright. Get our auction back. Make a crafting station real quick. Always like to keep an oxygen in my inventory just in case things happen. I'm going to eat this food. Fills us almost up. Alright, that uh, bio, this biomass, the grass spreader, two water, magnesium, aluminum, see we're still needing aluminum, and the seed lermas. Now this becomes a more efficient use of the seed lerma. The lerma has no multiplier to it, so when you put it into the tier 1, 2, or 3, it doesn't enhance the amount of oxygen it makes. Whatever this says is what it makes, so 10.4 versus 0.96. When you put it in here, you drop it down, it's 86 oxygen and 0.15 plants. That's biomass, and that'll become important later. Uh, the energy use is 16 versus one of these, which is 9. So, or 8, sorry. So, almost double the energy that you get over eight times the oxygen. Big improvement to put these out. We get back to our base, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna run in here into the cave and we are going to grab all the iridium we can find. So it's scattered. And if you look back there, you'll see some ice and eventually we'll be able to melt that ice. Uh, I think it's probably at the same 100 NK. Let's see. It starts at 100 NK. So we got to improve our heat, which luckily the iridium we're picking up is going to help us increase our heat. All right, there's still some up top on this. Let's see if we can jump up here. Yeah, we did. Okay. Got a couple more. Now that may be nine. Eleven. So this is gonna get twelve. Right, so we got twelve. So that's a rod with three to spare. I think I had four at the base. That gives us seven. And I believe I still have a heater. So that could give us nine. It could give us two rods. And that would let us build two heaters. I'm going to come in here. Let me grab a iron. We'll make a storage chest. At least a box. That'll work perfect. Put all that in. And we'll just go ahead and put all this stuff up. And we'll keep that. Don't need the water. So we'll head out. I am thrown. So, got some speed on us. Now I like to grab, I like to grab silicon if I see it. So we could build some things out here. Now when I said free energy, this little wreck right, our base is back there, straight that way. And this wreck is a solar panel. Now, just laying on the ground, it's not ours until we claim it, so we have to deconstruct it, and we pick it up, and now we go put it down. I'll put it down there by our uh, little base, and it becomes power for no, for no cost of us going out and finding a bunch of resources. Here's another one, and here's another one. Now, if I was doing a speed run, I would literally... Uh, Pick them up and drop them right here. Just throw them out there. And if I came this way during a speed run, and if playing the game like this, I like to put them back by my base. That way they're not scattered across various areas of the, of the world. Because eventually I'll want to pull these down and do something else with power. Get all this stuff put in there. So we got 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
here we go. Get this up. And that chip. Let's go ahead and put a blue chip out. And that's a recycling machine. Now if I remember right, the recycling machine, when you craft it, it allows you to put in uh, any item that's, that has a craft value and it will break it down to its base cost. So say you put a bottle, you put a bottle of water in there, it'll recycle it to a piece of ice. That's a lot of stuff. Take three trips to get all this. Now we are at blue skies, but in this area you can see it's still orange. Uh, I, as far as I played uh, to uh, butterflies, I don't believe that ever changed. I think it always, um, I think it was always orange out here. So we got three powers. And at 19 each, we've got almost 60, or it's 19 and a half, so we have almost 60. We got no aluminum, which is unfortunate. Well, you know what, let's do this. I'm probably gonna need oxygen to get across. gonna have to drink water again. Good thing we have plenty of water. So let's go get that last box. Now we talked about golden chests in the, in the previous episode. Following the wall from the cave all the way back over here you find one right here. And that's the one in this area. Here's the compartment or they may be supply uh, supply compartments of, the, of a ship that crashed. Now there's the new biome, uh, biodome. That's the new item we just unlocked. That's where the biomass comes in. So we have that to build now. So that takes a lot of resources. And oh, one aluminum. That's it. So we're going to have to shuttle all that uh, iridium across to our main base. Normally what I would do we didn't get lucky is uh, create a, a uh, crafting table and make make it right now. now actually I could probably do that let's do this little little tidbit trick here uh, go and drink the water I have one aluminum right and only one so let's put all this up so if I need three aluminum there's one in this, there's one in that. That gives me three. So now I can make this crafting station. I just need one titanium, and I figured there'd be one. So now I can make that crafting table. Just We'll just plug it right over here in the corner. All right, so let's take this stuff out. And let's make one. Now here's the table. I don't think we've actually explored it. You can make the tier four backpack. Those three super alloys. Here's the oxygen tank. You can make super alloy by one up all the base resources plus one aluminum. You can make uranium rods. Uranium rods, which we're gonna do. This is the rocket engine, which is needed to make the jet pack. Now I called them rocket boots in the last episode. They're actually jet packs. Put it on your back, you need two rockets and titanium. You can fly across the ground. Now this runs faster than the tier two agility boots, which we don't have yet. So this flies faster than those. So this is your improvement to speed. And eventually you'll get a tier two jet pack. And that is even faster than this. So that's how you really move across the screen. All right, now, I don't have enough to combine these four. But I do have one extra aluminum. So I could make a super alloy. But we'll hold off on that. We'll get rid of this. We don't need it now. And we will put these up. So 
Might as well take advantage of the free power. And that one, I don't need that. And so I want to take back our aluminum. I want to take these back. See if I can make another rod when I get home. Uh, I'm going to leave some food out here. And I'm going to take back these seeds so I can take advantage of them. And I'll take one of those back. So that's everything I need to take. But come to think of it, on the way back, just in case I have to build a hab, I'm just going to do that, save the oxygen. I mean, I have the space for it, so why not? Now, something I didn't mention uh, about this ice back here. If you look back here, when this finally melts, uh, can't we can't see into there yet. There is still irid iridium down there, but it also has some osmium in here. And I guess you can't see it yet. The osmium is what you need for the uh, the harvesters. And the harvesters are something that should be opening relatively soon. There's the launch platform we got a while ago. It takes a lot of power and it shoots rockets off. We don't have the parts to make the rockets right now. Uh, the biodome is here and then this. See this is 60. We're getting close but we don't have any uranium rods so we're kind of handicapped there and then we get the ore extractor which we're only about a third of the way there we're shooting for this for base resources this to make water and we really are shooting for um, work getting these put down so right now I can bank one so I say let's go ahead and head back now we can run straight down this wall back to the starting zone now, earlier I was running pretty slow. I, I figured out what happened. I, I never turned on auto run. Uh, it's a toggle option that you can set in the options or settings for this game. Uh, it's called toggle run. It let you hit one button and you constantly run. Toggle, hit it again. It turns on. I forgot to click the button. That's why I ran so slow. So we might actually be able to make it all the way across here without needing to build a intermediate habitat. So. You know, even though you play for a while, you still do things like that that you, you just wonder why. So it looks like we might actually be able to make it all the way across. So the moral of the story is run when you can. And there's still a lot of resources out here. Now there is something inter interesting about this wall back here. Somewhere along that wall there is a secret compartment. Spoiler alert. I won't tell you anything else. We'll find it later, but just know that there is a secret uh, place over there. And uh, at a certain time we will go collect it, but I like to do that later in the game too. I think when I played through the butterflies, that's whenever I went in there. out so we made it back without having to use our resources to build a habitat which I think is great now we can make a trip if we have to now that's four five six seven eight so that's eight and there's nine and ten so let's go ahead and get the energy back well, I mean we're only making 3.6 heat and let's make a rod or let's make this first I just like to stick it in the corner. And then we will have one more piece of aluminum. I do have. Let's go make. Let's go make. Uh, wrong spot. We have to make the, this. So we need aluminum. And we don't have it. So we can't even make that yet. So that means a trip to the aluminum fields where we got hit by that uh, meteor the, the uh, last episode. So we're going to eat, go ahead and drink, we'll drop that off, grab some water, and we'll head, we'll head to the aluminum fields, get that aluminum. 
Now, later in the games, if you look down the blueprints, um, you can explore them all. If you, if you buy the game and you're looking at it, you can put down that blueprint um, screen and scroll all the way down, and you're going to find things in there that uh, may or may not make a lot of sense. Uh, one of them uh, down there somewhere is the teleporter. You can make a teleporter and install them in your homes or bases across this world, and you can jump in and teleport from one to another, kind of like Star Trek. Uh, beam me up, beam me down, basically beam me across. So it makes you, you don't have to run as much anymore. That's a ways away. So we're going to take all 10 of these. And I get all that up. All but two. I'm doing this just to do this. We'll eventually we will eventually move that further in when we get the harvesters and then that'll be our, our base where we store base resources. We will make a tier 2 crafting station so we can turn some of it into super alloy because you need so much forever it seems and it'll also be a place where we can store things like uh, extra aluminum and some point down the game we're going to open up that bigger living compartment and we're going to make the full full size base and get out of this temporary spot right here and depending on how it goes uh, I might do some of that off screen because it can just be tedium I might make the initial base and just transport stuff off screen just so y'all don't have to watch me make a hundred trips across alright so I need that let's make this crafting station needs magnesium silicon magnesium silicon let's make it I'll put it right back here and I am going to center that that will go right there All right. we'll make this rod and that will give us nine make the rod and then I need silicon and titanium. Titanium silicon. Now let's go look at our heat and stuff. I could run that through there. All right, power-wise, we're still doing great. We're working towards rain, and our oxygen's climbing like crazy. Our heat's climbing now. Finally, pressure's weak. So we do need one more pressure. So I know I have this. I yeah, already had two. I already have two aluminum in here. I can put the rest up. Let me go get. Let me go get two titanium. We'll make another drill. Grab a few more of these because you never know when you're going to need more power. that is. Alright, that'll give us two. So I'll pick up a couple more if I can. Eventually I want... Eventually I, I try to shoot for five of most of the machines. Uh, that's that's my personal build plan. Five. Obviously power doesn't play along that path, but uh, I, like, I like to have five. And eventually we will get them. I mean, there is, a, there is another higher level uh, drill. There's a T4, which puts these to shame. Uh, very expensive to build. Okay, now pressure's clicking faster. So, we've done that. So now we've got pressure, oxygen, everything going on. A nice clip. And we were talking about a grass spreader earlier. So let's see if we can do a grass spreader. Alright, so that's way down here. I need two water, magnesium, aluminum, and lerma. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the lerma out of here. Grab the aluminum, and do I have everything now? I need water. I have one water, I have two water, and then I need mine to make it back. So, right here. Now we can do one of these. I'm just going to plop it out here so you can see what it looks like. Just put it right over here. 
Now I sit and look at it, it's giving us 86.4.15 grams per second of uh, plants. It only took 16. Where this is 15 and this is 20. And if we had the 600 plant, I think that equates out to 60. So it, it outdoes the best plant in one of these by doing that. Now, as we, as it does its work, it's slowly going to start putting some green stuff out. And you can kind of see that on the screen. We'll come back and look at it in a little bit. Okay, at this point, at this point, I'm thinking, clicky there, there's cloth, two cloth. Do I have two super alloys? I don't. We're going to make one, though. I think this is an efficient use of resources. And there's the big nuclear reactor. And let's see if we have the silicon. Okay, this is how you turn base resources into something better. One of each plus aluminum, and you get a super alloy. Now with those two super alloy and these two cloths, I should make my better boots. And now, instead of 15% speed, we got 30. And there they are equipped. This is great. We still need to make this. And if we go get boots, we're going to need it. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do it. Two. Two magnesium. Only got one. So looks like I'm going to need some. Oh, there's someone. Put that aluminum. One silicon. And now with this, we have an extra row. So when we get our boots, we can go here and put them right here. So I think now that we've got everything running well and growing, and we are, well, let's look down here. We are getting close to open up the pinning blue chip and then the water blue chip uh, not really concerned about a flower pot it does look nice though uh, we actually uh, we actually should probably head out and oh, look at this something I forgot the biodome creates oxygen uh, it uses a lot of energy and to put it out is pretty expensive at this stage yeah three super alloy seed lerma again you need your seeds and aluminum so our goal is to make super alloy and I think at the same time we need to work on rocket boots and I think once we get rocket boots then we'll start shooting rockets off into space and we'll, we'll demo that out so how about we do this let's take a trip to a a crash site and uh, let's and another ship. So I'm going to take two of these. I'm going to grab two water. This is going to be a kind of long trip. I got three water. Should be enough. And I do need the resources for a habitat. And I do need resources for a crafting station. That should be everything I need. So let's go. Um, Something I'll tell you, see where that sand is falling off the cliff over there? There's a cave right there. We're going to be running by it in a second. That cave has on the ground some base resources, but also has a lot of iridium, excuse me, yeah, iridium, and aluminum. And in the back of that is a exit that's blocked by ice, which we don't start, uh, we don't start uh, which actually should start uh, melting now that we're at 138. So it's melting now. Eventually you'll be able to exit out the back to a whole new biome. Uh, I'm leaving that iridium for now. Uh, we'll use it when it comes time to do rockets. We'll go in there and work that out. So let's head this way and I will show you a subterranean base, very small. Uh, one of the I guess one of those crash survivors must have tried, or a past crash survivor uh, tried to start a ba little base and didn't make it, sadly. Uh, we're going to go in and 
take the things he compiled uh, and we're going to use them to our benefit so we can survive. Uh, then we will head over to that ship that you can barely see right over there. It's right behind that big cloud. Um, that ship is huge inside. A lot of resources. It's probably one of the bigger ships that I know of. Uh, if they've added a bigger one in the later updates, well, we'll learn that together. Okay, what I'm looking for is a, there they are, the crop out right here, this little rock. It's right over here, and I'm just following that wall, is a little base right here. And we can go down, we're going to build a hab real quick. And... That way we can get some auction before we go down. And I guess I will go ahead and I'll put this down way over here. Just to put my items in before we go down there. Alright, let's go down and see what's in here. Turn flashlight on. Yeah, he had a bed. He had a note. Another crash. He's the only one left. Tried to survive, but land is too hostile. My health is getting bad. He's going to go outside and look for some water. And I don't assume, I can only assume he didn't uh, find water. Now, here we go. This, this is always random what's in here. I find this, I, I, I found it more times than I haven't found it in my short playthroughs. Uh, you get a free rocket. This is a great find because the amount of resources and time to make this requires a rod made from these plus two uranium and other re and super alloy I believe so this is a huge find saves us a lot of resources and I'm going to keep that with me when I go to the ship uh, even though I don't have enough resources right now or enough ability to carry everything with everything else I have um, I, I'm keeping the rocket so here's a trick. You can't build storage containers out here in the open wild, right? So you can make a platform though on the ground. I'll put it here where the ship is. Then you can put a box on top of it. And now you can put things in there that you may or may not need. And that's what I will do. Now, these are base resources I don't necessarily need. I don't need all this extra food on me. Uh, this chip. Funny how this is the exception to the rule of building out here in the open. You can build a craft screen. And now I can destruct, deconstruct that. Now, I can come back for this on a future trip. Nothing in there is life-breaking in this game. So, I deconstruct that, and there we go. I am fully stocked and heading across towards the ship over here. Now, that box right there might sit there for a long time. Eventually, we'll run by and go, oh, there's something, and we'll get it. We'll get those resources. Uh, but since I have the Tier 2 boots now, I don't need cloth yet. A lot of cloth is used for decorations, couches, things like that you can put in your base. Uh, I, Unless something is needed later in the game that I am unaware of, I don't think there's other uses for it. Uh, we may prove ourselves wrong later on. Alright, I'm going to do this. And this. And we will be, we'll be set up. Going to build a crafting station. Always have one of those handy. Now we're going to do, we're going to be bringing out a lot of resources. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this. And I'll carry those three just in case. Now this ship is big. This is the entrance. It's on this side of the ship. When you're running up from there, it's right in here. There's a lot of nooks and crannies. There's really nothing in these outside nooks. Uh, so, when you put your base here, you don't have to worry about exploring around it. Now, these are some interesting components. We'll look at them in a minute. 
Uh, but we're going to go into the ship. Now you got a left and you got a right. I'll go left. Uh, there doesn't usually appear to be anything on the lower level here. I've never found anything. Feel free to search. I'm not exactly the most observant. You click that and you climb. Or you go down in this case. Now here you got three paths. So if you go backwards, look here. Eggplants. A microchip. Nothing else. Okay. This is our way out. Keep that in note because of our oxygen. And then this area right here, as you're running across, I'll usually check these little... Oh, got to de deconstruct that. I'll check the nooks and crannies because they'll sometimes put things in here. Oh, there we go. And you get back here and you got crates. Wow, it's a lot of iron. What's in here? That's a whole crate of iron. We'll have to come back for that iron. But for now, we got to get out of here. So we're running low on oxygen. And you're, we're back outside. Now, uh, you got a staircase over here. You can go up. It looks like a flight deck. Uh, for, and probably this is the command console. Or where they looked at stuff in the battlefield. So this does look like how they piloted the ship. It's a nice big ship. Too bad we can't repair it and get off this island. I'm going to put a big storage container right here. Here we go again. I'll pick this, all this up. So we have it over here. Now I guess what we'll do is we'll go explore the rest of that first level is hitting close. Wow, I did not realize that. Visions of being hit popped in my brain again. Alright, so that's the way we went last time. There's a lot of iron back there, but let's let's take the next path. See, same thing, I just look around. And nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there. And we get Oh, oh wow, look at that. Look at that, a rocket engine. Ha, huh, that gives us two. That means we can make a rocket boots. I mean, excuse me, our jetpack. We can make our jetpack now. We have what we need. Wow, that's amazing that we got that. I'm going to drink that water so I can take that up with us and eat that food. So that is insane that we got that. So those two rocket boot, excuse me, those two rockets will be able to make our, will be able to make our rocket. And when we go home in a little bit, we'll be able to fly. Oh, take a peek for free aluminum, if we can find any. Oh, wow, it's blocked that area a little bit. Don't always find free aluminum, but hey, it's worth a shot to look. Nothing up here. It's worth a shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight. Well, I guess we're going to need to... I guess just temporarily we're going to make a small box. I don't have the resources for that. We got all that iron coming though, so we'll just put it over here. The rest will go on the ground. All right. One more time in on this side, and I think we'll have everything. And this can, I mean, this can be a tedious process of getting everything, but trust me, later in the game, you don't have to do a lot of stuff later in the game. Uh, you get those harvesters and you just get all your base resources. Yeah, you'll pick things up when you run around exploring, but you don't have to clean out all these ships uh, unless you want to. Hey, everybody plays the game the way they want to play. All right, so that's this side. Now, let's take a quick peek while we still have auction on this side. Now, 
this side. See all these? Right now we can't do anything with them. But supposedly there's a deconstructor too, another upgrade to that chip, and these will get deconstructed. Now when I played through flowers, uh, this wasn't even in the game. So this has something to do with stuff in late game. So we're going to learn some of that together. So we'll just open up our path. I didn't see anything in here we could take. But notice this door. That tells me that there is a power source somewhere that lets us that open these doors. Oh, I deconstructed that through the wall. Yeah. So some of these will open up later. So I would say somewhere in here, oh, might as well go out and get some oxygen. So at some point down the game, we're going to be able to go in there, put in a power source, and then we'll be able to um, uh, find some new things that we haven't seen before. Well, these are all pretty solid advanced resources. We'll see about I'll put one over here. So let's separate our resources so that we have a more organization. Put the super rare over here. We'll put the rod. Hey, I didn't even recognize the rod there. We got a rod. That means uh, we already got another heater or a rocket, one of the two. So these definitely are rare, and these will go here, the base resources will go here and here, so we'll do that. Alright, now let's go find out what this ship holds for us on the other side. Make an oxygen tube later. Alright, this is where we were. Okay, so new room. There's a chest here. And a seed lerm. Okay. There's a 300 multiplier. We'll go ahead and take that. And like I said, when I do a ship like this, especially on a casual playthrough, I, I know I turned up the settings, but um, I, I'll clean the whole ship out. That way I don't have to deal with coming back and uh, trying to find stuff later. These are a lot of seeds. A lot of seeds in here, but they're... Uh, but it is something that later on in the game they'll be more important. Huh, we got a bunch of seeds this time. And a little crate. Now, that's a 400... That's a 300, so I can swap some of these out when we get back to make more oxygen. Uh, looks like we have a ladder to go up. Okay, well, we're going to go back and get oxygen real quick. I love how all those resources are random. I mean, that was, there's good finds in here. If I don't have a silicon, I'm going to go out and find one. Because I want to, I want to find out what those are. Wow, we have so much. We have so much in resources. It's crazy out here. Did not realize it gave that much. So, let's go get a silicon. There's bound to be one around here somewhere. And there, there's one. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple. Now, since there's three sitting, I'll get three. Four. Impulsive behavior. I was thinking that we need all that super alloy. And we have so many resources that it might be worthwhile to um, turn some of these base resources into uh, into 
super alloy in a little bit. Make that trip back more beneficial. All right, so we've got an area lamp that's light, as far as I know. Oh, mapping. I bet that's up to his rockets. And a GPS out. There you go. GPS satellite. Shoot a GPS satellite off, and then the, probably the mapping thing has something to do with it. Some of these things were added to the game after I played. Uh, like I said, I did a lot of speed runs, things like that, and uh, so I, I I get to like 200,000 TI, and I stop. So a lot of new things they've been adding, just in essence, is new to me. I don't remember a mapping feature, but uh, I remember a compass, which we haven't built yet. In fact, is it even up here? Yeah, there's compass. And we haven't built it yet, but we're going to build some of these things. All right, here we go again. Get in here before it drops on us. Yeah, it was close. All right. So we got a... And we went through all of this, I believe. Yeah, we did. And in here. So really, left thing, last thing is up here. Here's our... Oh, see, here's another one. I bet you that door opens. This door opens. I bet you anything. Later in the game, we're going to see that. Oh, well, here it is. So, it is something we'll put in later. And... screen to read a lot of food none of that'll none of that'll oh okay hydration slow hot water we're gonna run out of oxygen we may just stay Okay, so we got three chests. Wow, look at all that. That is a tree seed. More blueprints. Let's just pull up. Let's take the blueprints. Uh, uh, looky there. A lot of seeds. This is a good place for seeds. I don't think I'll make it from an oxygen standpoint, but we'll give it a real big shot. I don't have to use oxygen, then that'll be great. I'm going to be close. <laughs> we are so full. You know what? I think we'll just... Look, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do this that way and do we we don't have that screen still down I really should learn to leave those on the ground because we seem to need them all the time big living compartment there we go that's what I wanted uh, map information rocket and a micro mining speed 4 one, two, three, forty percent. Now that that may be worth it. It's a lot of that's aluminum, super alloy, another super alloy, and a other aluminum, and an osmium. We don't have. Okay, so we are getting oh we're getting close to the water collector. So we got some things to build. When we get back. So let's see if we can't make that table buy some stuff. So we need three aluminum, titanium, magnesium. Well, I do not have, there's three. I do not have magnesium. So I guess we are taking a trip. And there's a magnesium. So we have more than one two more. There's two. Wow. Climbed in the middle of nowhere. Alright, so now we can go back. 
make that table and see what we can combine. Oh, make our jump, make our jump uh, pack, or jet pack, sorry. What do we need? One titanium. I think I just used our piece of titanium. Well, if I remember right, there were three right here. Three or four. One. Oh, I grabbed them while ago. Oh, that one's fine. That's all we need. We'll make our, our jet pack and we can fly. Now I remember flying around on this thing. And we put it on. So now we can fly. That'll make the trip back so much easier. Look at all this food. Amazing. So, plan a hardcore run and taking this as your primary, um, make this your primary base to go to. Could be awesome to have food because then you don't have to worry about starving to death. Just sleep. Organize that. We don't need water, food. Definitely don't need that. And we shouldn't need water in there. I think there was just a couple crates left. And then I think we're done with this ship. We got one of our big goes, and that's rockets. And, of course, we know to come back out here. So we're going to leave a base out here. Um, kind of have to, but we got three. Well, we didn't get it all. Well, we did get that. Okay. Now, that was a wall that was deconstructed. I, I know that was in the game before. Um... I'm still surprised when I find them because they're just random. Well, I assume they're set in stone in some of these buildings. Uh, but you just don't necessarily know when they're going to be there. That's why I usually run around with this uh, open so that I can tell. It'll pop up that symbol of something that could be deconstructed and then you know. Like all those uh, computers, see. All your computers will eventually be deconstructible and they'll give you I'm sure components useful for something so let's see I, I'm going to take back some food like that seeds a big seed so we're going to do that and we'll take back that And I need this, we need the super alloy. But you know what? We can burn the super alloy right now. If we, uh, if we make a few super alloy, we can make our oxygen tank. So might as well do that. That's 370. That is nice. Um, I if I can organize this a little bit real quick. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. So, construction, deconstruction, that, mining chip, jetpack, jump jet, oxygen. Alright. And then food we don't need. Actually, you know what? We'll do that. Um, I'm going to take my bean back. I don't want to. So, really. We got three of these, three of these. I need, if I go out and get another, uh, get some, if I go out and get some titanium, say three titanium and another one of these, I can make three of those. I do have the, and I have that. All right, let's do that. Let's get some titanium. Oh, this is fine. Titanium. three. Right, let's get some more. I, I think so. I, I just I think I want to turn most of that into into uh, 
Super Halloween. It's just so much easier to transport stuff than making 20 trips back and forth. Oh, looky here. What, what, what? Not much of anything. Wow, I came out here to get magnesium and I'm not going to get none. I did get the titanium. Huh? Look at that. I'll have to come back for it. I'm full. Magnesium and aluminum. Magnesium. So we've got one silicon, of course. Now to make the backpack requires the titanium. And there we go. More store space on us. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Magnesium. So I need magnesium. So I got three, three, three. So three magnesium takes care of it. There's one. And remember, we have that little bit of stuff sitting over there in that other base area. I'm stoked that we got the... Um, I'm stoked that we were able to get the rocket the, the jump jet that's a big improvement we get this this and aluminum right oh, yep piece of aluminum make one of these and then another piece of aluminum and we have nine one two three four five six seven eight nine we get another rod that's two rods that's what one two three four five six seven eight one shy right, so we're, we're gonna take the 300s back the 400 backs and we're going to take the seed. We, we're taking this back. I don't really need to take that cloth back. And when I come back, if I bring, if I bring one, or next time we come here, if I remember, bring uranium, then we'll be able to make that. So I'm going to take all of this. And then I don't really need to take those back. Might as well take one more. Oop. Of course. Probably clicked the wrong button. And then. don't think we need any of that at this point we'll take a water and then we'll take we got our food and we got this uh, we'll leave these three to make three more super alloy so that'll work all right so let's head back oh that's right there was that little piece of aluminum up here probably never find it again but since it was up here and it was nope like I said probably never find it again that's alright so see how you fly you you hit the space bar twice as you're running and you'll take off in the air and then as long as you hold the space bar you will continue to fly uh, you can raise yourself up a little bit. I mean, you can't like fly, fly, but it keeps you above the ground a little bit. 
and look at how fast you're moving compared to being on the ground. And this is the first tier. We haven't even opened the second one. I don't know if that comes from blueprint or those little microchips or if it comes from uh, TI. But eventually there's a tier two. And look, we're getting rain. So we're in that rain stage. So it's dropping water. Uh, I don't think it accumulates yet. I think we have to get to lakes, but at least it's wetting the ground and you're starting to see you got clouds and things. Ah, here's the here's the grass spreader. And let's see, we are at rain. And liquid water is coming up after that. I would think rain is liquid water, but it is what they call it. So we do open up a backpack coming up. New heater coming up. It's a long way away though. PPB versus PPT. And fork structures are coming up. We're getting close. And here's the nuclear reactor. We still haven't got that. We only have two of these. One of them would help us make a rod. And then of course, our seeds. Plastidome, what is that? Bioplastic, we'll put that in here. And then of course, all of these. This is the organization. All right, so I bet we have food grown. I'm gonna take this seed out and I'm gonna put in that. And we still have three of these. So what do we need to build still, I guess, is what we need to look at. We need to build the biodome. We need to build this. Takes more. We've got to have to make more power. We're going to have to probably put another one of these out, but we definitely want this. So this is what we're, we'll put this out, and then we'll end this episode. Uh, that way, I will save. Uh, we will save the... Uh, building of some of these smaller devices to increase everything for the next episode. And we'll be able to, when we come back, we'll be able to see how that's doing. We do need one of these and one aluminum. So I think that's it. It takes 13 energy. So we have plenty of energy. So let's just put it right over here on this corner for now. See, it'll collect four, four containers of water. So we have, we have the stuff to make two more heaters. Uh, we have the stuff to make, uh, we have stuff to make rockets. Well, we do have this thing. We can make one rocket. We got one bar, two uranium over here. We got a super alloy. So we do have the ability to make a rocket. We just don't have the rocket. Let's see the launch pad. Well, there we go. We need three titanium, three iron, and a lot of energy. 66, and we currently have five. So we will have to work on power. All right, that'll be it for this episode. When we come back, we'll be uh, looking at uh, moving, uh, making some power putting out some more uh, advanced oxygen makers as well as heat and I think we will try a, a trip into that cave right there and up there to see if we can get osmium all right thanks for watching uh, have a great day great evening if they're if that's your time when you're watching uh, we will see you on the flip side